Hey guys, welcome to an emergency show and trailer. Star Wars The Last Jedi trailer has officially released. And I guess tickets just went on sale. I guess I should have been looking for that. I should have been looking out for that. Whatever. We it's usually go on the cheap day the next week, right afterwards. <laughs> <coughs> Matinee. When They're you own your own business, out. you can go in the middle of the friggin' day. That's what we'll do. Alright, uh, but let's check this out. Two and a half minutes. I hope... It doesn't spoil anything. They said to find spoiler heavy. Eh, you know what? The last ones for the last movie, they, they, I'm going to trust them. Some they did good. Some people were saying there's some fine. misdirection and stuff. So we'll I don't think that we went in to, sorry, the last movie. I don't think I went in and was like, oh, saw it in the trailer. And I, I think we're fine. Okay. We're fine. <laughs> I don't remember being like, oh my god, I knew that that was... Yeah, I don't remember. And I'm not even going to say what happened, but we all know what happened. We yeah. never knew. The trailer didn't knew. let us know. All right, here you go. When I found you, I saw raw, untamed power. And beyond that, special Princess Leia God I love her You know how many people are going to be watching this trailer You're going to get a lot of hate back if you fool around He's always been there But now he's awake And I need help Raw strength only once before. Uh oh. It scare me enough then. It does now. Let the past die. Kill it. If you have to. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? Like the fire, <laughs> oh, gosh. oh, yeah. Is she gonna take the mask off finally? Is not going to go the way you think. For Phil. someone to show me my place in all this we're already going there whoa okay there's a lot happening there I can't believe they bought in a baby group um that's wild well so yeah that's the first thing that really stood out to me I don't know where it is in the timeline here, but apparently Han has been replaced by a cute little creature, like Chewie was lost, he didn't know what to do, so he went and found a space penguin to be his new pilot <laughs> of the Millennium Falcon. Is that what's going on? Basically. <laughs> it's a lot different. It's a lot different, but I think they'll make a, a great new, a great new, uh, Star Wars duo. Tribble? Um... <laughs> um, the thing that I'm wondering here I found you. is it just feels like I saw raw, untamed power. So this is the dude that was in the hologram talking to Edgelord here. And I'm not even familiar with the term very well. But Snork? I'm pretty sure this guy is, um, uh, Kylo Ren is like Edge Lord Supreme, right? <laughs> like, he's so, the expressions, and I love the actor. Mm -hmm. I love the actor, but God, the angst on his face. And beyond that, something truly special. We just got done watching 
episode one and two, and what I'm feeling here is like I'm a little bit worried that we're seeing the same old rehash. Like they're gonna surprise us, I'm sure. Like uh, Abrams is really good. He's not gonna just give us the same, especially after the criticism from the last movie that it was just basically giving us Star Wars again. Right. Yeah. Like the exact same Star Wars. Abrams this wasn't is Abrams, not but I mean, he's like. I mean, even if he's not directing, it doesn't matter. He's got a big hand in this. He's a producer. If he's not in official capacity, he's definitely acting like one. Um, the fact is that, yeah, they're not going to go down this route where we're seeing the same friggin' like, is she really going to be tempted by the dark yes, side again? Yeah. Are we going to see this again? She's frustrated with her training, so she goes like... to the dark side, or like, I think toys she's with the idea. fucking with them. Yeah, they're fucking with us in the trailer. They're making us think that that's where it's going. Yeah. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. I think it's a misdirection for sure. Yeah. I I I agree. The time's dying. upset about there like what does he have we don't know much about him when it comes down to it <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck is this thing <laughs> it's jar jar the new jar jar <laughs> i don't think there's no way in hell that's jar jar i'm gonna assume <laughs> that they're on whatever this island they're on with those little ice foxes that they showed it's a porg Cho Chewy went down there and grabbed this thing and tossed it in the ship to save it or something like that. Or it um, hijacked its way on. We are the spark that'll light the fire that'll burn the first order down. This is not going to go the way you think. Okay, so I wonder who he's talking to there. By the way, it's kind of crazy that they keep on paying Brienne of Tar to be in a suit. Yeah. Just to sit there in a suit. <laughs> you could have, like, had anybody in that suit yep. for the last two movies. Absolutely. This is not going to go the way you think. Yeah, so I want to, I, I can't even, like, he's in, it's rainy and it's pro presumably still on his planet there. I his, think like, hermit planet. It's, well, he's training. Yeah, her. but is he talking to her? I don't know. Um, and then I'm glad that they got all Leia's uh, shots, all of, um... Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. You can go. Carrie Fisher... You think? I heard had quite a few big yeah. moments in this movie. What's that up? That part, Ray's coming out of oh, the yeah, water. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's... Yeah. Is she coming to kill him? Destiny. Who that guy? That's the supreme guy, That's the Snoke. I need someone. He's Snorlax. a big deal. I don't know how these Show guys know about him. All this. I don't recall his name being said in the last movie, so I'm guessing you guys have like read some stuff. I remember people throwing the name or Snoke seeing, around in the... Was he in, like, the anime? The the little penguin birds were in the His anime. His name was said in the movie? I didn't remember. I feel like I need to see it again. Leia mentions him by name in episode 7. She said Supreme Emperor Snoke? Hmm. I don't remember her saying that. But, um, I mean, I only watched it once. Uh... Looks like they got some space battles going on in there. Those things always blow up. These things are basically just designed to blow up. <laughs> um, He's called Supreme Leader Snoke several times. I don't remember that. <laughs> I remember a big fuzzy guy. I remember a really large fuzzy hologram guy. Ah. <laughs> I don't remember anybody talking to him. Is that the same one? Uh, made up space names. 
Um, yeah, it looks good, and I really do think they're misdirecting. There's no way. And if they if they aren't, I'm disappointed already. <laughs> Sadly, you can't do this again. You can't. Yeah. It's been done too much. The the playing with the idea of the dark side. Luke did it. Friggin' Anakin did it. Friggin' like, well, that's the two that did it. But it like took a long time. <laughs> yeah. Like that was the whole theme of both arcs. Uh-huh. And you can't do it again. They did say now it's going to be different doing than it. other films. Kylo's doing it, and now you're going to have Rey do it too, which is what the, the trailer makes you kind of think. But I, I agree with what some of you guys said. It's misdirection. They're, yeah, and like, I mean, isn't that like what happens in any of like the animated series and stuff? With any, I haven't watched them, but I'm pretty sure that that's where they go with a lot of those. Is like anybody who gets trained as a Jedi is always playing with the idea of going to the dark side yeah so it's just really played out and i really hope they don't do that um, you think they're gonna delve into gray areas of the, other, the dark force the other thing with L- L- ray is uh, does she have enough of a chip on her shoulder to even go that way like luke did he watched his parents die anakin did he like <laughs> he failed himself by not going back and getting his mom before she was raped uh-huh uh but what does Ray have? She's just kind of like an orphan on a planet. But she did, did she did she have any traumatic experience that we know about at this point? She's just an orphan. Like she's got a chip. She like might she, have misgivings she, about her. Parents. She's got a nice edge to her. Like she's you know gritty and gruff, but she's not like nothing has like pushed her. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, Luke never really went to the dark side, but he definitely was like. I mean, you know. I think that's actually just a, uh, it's supposed to be like the nature of training too. Is as you get more powerful, suddenly your mind starts like fucking with you, and you start being tugged by the dark side. Isn't that the point of the cave? She was abandoned on Jakku and was basically a slave. Right. Maybe she'll be pissed enough to go dark. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. I wonder what they're watching there. It Also, that hand. It's Luke's, right? Well, Luke has an awesome hand. We saw him get it in... in that it looks, looks like an awesome hand, too. You think it's a flashback? Because it looks a lot like the original hand, which we just saw placed on Anakin in the last movie. Right, yeah. It looks like that one. The one that Luke gets is friggin' incredible. It looks very... And then, like, for the rest of the movies, it just looks like he has a human hand. Mm -hmm. But the one that they... We actually were making fun of it, that only, like, 20 years earlier, they had, like, the shittiest prosthetic ever... Right. ...to give to Darth Vader, the future Darth Vader. The fire scene is a flashback from when Kylo Ren destroyed the Jedi Temple thing. When did that happen? Oh. What? (laughs) <laughs> I didn't know the how what when did he do that I don't remember that I do not remember seeing Kylo Ren go destroy a Jedi temple mm. so this is info from the books oh okay oh <laughs> see this is the thing this is why I'm always like pensive going into a Star Wars trailer because there's so okay. much stock in it and so much information that I don't know and people are going to be pissed off about that I don't know. I'm sorry that I started it with Princess Leia. Man. You're the one that's going to have to read those comments. Yeah. No, I'm just not going to read them. Just now. It's what Ray saw in the flashback? I don't even remember that. I was too preoccupied with the moving seats. <laughs> like, we went to the moving seat one for this, and... Yeah, it was good. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. So he's got, like, carbon fiber under his face. Yeah. Or, like... It, no, sort of... I guess that's how they stitched him up. Because did he take a wound in the last movie, I guess? I can't remember. This character... <laughs> I, again, I love the actor. I don't know what they're going to do to make me, like... I just fucking hate the character. I know. Like, it's not just, like, I hate him like a bad guy. I just hate him. Like, I, I just dislike him. There's nothing, no redeemable quality, so he's not even... Did you guys just pause? He just got stuck. They did get stuck. All right. Anyways, we're pretty much at the end here. 
but uh, they're going to have to do something to soften his image or make us like him in some way. He needs some rede redeemable traits. Well, he looks really emotionally constipated here. Yeah. Well, it's kind of coming out. He needs something to make him interesting. He needs to be more interesting than just loser, sucky baby boy. Yeah. And tantrum throwing baby Like, I boy. feel like there's more to this face than, than just tantrum. Mm-hmm. You can tell from that face he's a great actor. He's really good. Yeah, he totally is. Um, For Phil. And I love Ray, whatever her name is, Daisy Ridley. Yeah. Daisy Ridley Scott. And it looks very intense. I need someone. And you have to wonder, is Snoke Show there? Me place in all this. They're not talking to each other. Or maybe they are. Maybe, maybe he's... How about this? How about, like, that That could be interesting. Like, he stops going to the dark side. <laughs> Maybe for once somebody gets stopped before they go too far to the dark side. Yeah. You know, that would be nice. Like, she saves him mm -hmm. instead of he tugs her. That's what they're making it seem like. She, he's going to bring her to the dark side. Maybe it's going to go the other way. What? Maybe, what? like, she's going to take him yeah, away from Snoke. This. Um... I think that that's been fucked with there. I don't even think that's the same two scenes. Destiny. Oh, like him reaching out? And well, saying fulfill your destiny someone. to her. Maybe he does do that to her, but I don't think he's saying Show to her. Me to place in all this. These are just guesses for fun. That would be fun. Uh, but I'm just saying what I would like to see and what I think would be interesting. December 15th. They uploaded it in 720p. Crazy. Not even 1080. Yeah, that is Not, pretty like, crazy. These days when you expect 4K from everything. If you have to. Um, all right. Well, there's your trailer. Um, so, yeah. Like, J.J. Abrams didn't have any involvement at all. Like, I thought that... The reason I think that he had it is because, like, I was pretty sure when he got involved that basically he worked with the writers to plot out the whole next three. He and even is if he's for not directing. Movie. Okay, so in other words, he's still involved then. I mean, he's, he's... a producer. He didn't yeah, write exactly. this Yeah, exactly. He he worked together with even if he didn't write it, he worked together. You with know Rian that the Johnson. arc is written. Rian Johnson wrote and directed this. That's fine, but even if he didn't write the actual script, there's no way that he jumps in on movie 1 and is slated to direct movie 3 and has nothing and didn't to have a to. hand in where this is all yeah. going. Yeah. This is JJ Abrams along with that writing team who's the writers I don't remember their name. I just Blab I've seen the black and white photos. Brian Johnson. All I know is I've seen the black and white photos of him working with all those guys. There's no way he isn't like had a huge hand in where all this is going. Um the Jurassic World director was supposed to do episode 9 but then he got fired. Yeah, I, there was something I read. I don't know. I don't get a lot of details when it comes to this. I need this, someone. All right. There's so much imagery there. They really gave oh you guys God, a feast yeah. for you that have read all those, all that bullshit. Uh huh. Who've read ahead and like know all this details from all the books that I've never read and haven't gone near. There's like a probably a billion things to analyze in there for you crazy Star Wars nuts. Yeah, for sure. Too um, hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm so happy just to enjoy it from a cinematic perspective of just like going to movies. Yeah. Just going to a movie type of feeling. Like, you know, which they, you know, originally were crazy ass blockbusters. But it's cool if you're a crazy nerd too. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching. That was your emergency show and trailer uh, for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Ooh. See you next time.